Hello, thank you so much for this collaboration. I'm really excited to know more about you. I know that you are a photographer, you are a National Geographic Explorer, a Nikon Ambassador, and you also give TED Talks. So thank you so much, Gab, for this collaboration. Sirius, thanks again for inviting me to this uh, to this interview. It's, re it's a real pleasure and honor to be here. It's really exciting to be able to connect with someone different from a different country, really far away country from the Philippines. And it's an exciting, hopefully this becomes an exciting discussion. But yeah, I, I'm Gab, I'm from the Philippines. And as you said, I, yeah, I'm a, a conservation photographer or environmental storyteller. So I use photography, filmmaking as a means to advocate for the environment, to protect and conserve um, the, the wild places that we have around the world in Saudi, especially in my country, where there's a lot of um, threats to nature. And yeah, I, I'm a writer for the Manila Times and I also am a Nikon ambassador, but photography and filmmaking are really my, my career right now. How do you find your passion? How did you discover that you wanted to be a photographer? I discovered wanting to become a photographer because I was a mountaineer first before I was a photographer. So I was hiking when I was still a kid at around 13 years old. Uh, my first very mountain with my father, where my dad would bring me to the forest or would bring me to, to go see different places. And I really fell in love with the mountains and nature. And I, when, I, when, I, turned, when I, I told myself when I was 13 that when I turned 18, when I turned legal and be able to travel legally um, alone, I, I said that I wanted to explore the world. And it was photography that, it was photography that became my passport to the world. And it, it, I, I always realized like going to the mountains, going to these places, the forest, that I wanted to share a moment of these experiences that I had in these places and these beautiful, beautiful places. So I took a camera with me one day, I borrowed a camera and I just fell in love in the, when I was hiking, just taking the photos of the trees, the flowers, the insects, the sunrise, the sunsets, the, the beautiful landscapes in the Philippines. And ever since then, I, I, I dedicated my, my passion for photography, I was hiking, I was taking photographs, I was bringing my camera every day and going to the mountains when I can. Because I, I still am studying school. I'm a, um, I'm a university student, actually. It's my last year of engineering school in the Philippines. And, and ever since that moment, it's about already, I don't know, five years. It's already about five years. I, would, I don't like to count this year because this year never happened because <laughs> of the virus. But yeah, it's been five years already. And photography, just, I just fell in love and grew, grew in, uh, fell in love with photography every, every single moment. All the experiences that I got to share with my camera, all the stories that I was able to tell and listen to the people that I meet, the places that I visit. Um, photography just gave me a new perspective about the world and it helps me grow and learn as a human being. And I promise that I guess this is what makes me happy. This is what gives me, makes me content with what I create. And in the future, I, I don't see myself ever stopping taking photos. So right now you have achieved a lot. I mean, you are, part of the National Youth Council of the Philippines. You are collaborating with Nigeria all the time. <laughs> so <laughs> I want to know, what would you say to people who feel that they are not succeeding when they are pursuing their dreams? What would you say to those people? Just, I just say to them to trust, trust yourself. I think a lot of people, especially young ones, especially also me, I, I sometimes I feel like, I'm not doing enough that at my age, I should be doing this at my age. I should be doing that, but it's not supposed to be that case. Everybody has their own pace. Everybody has their own path and you should never compare yourself with the successes of others because everyone is different and everyone is diverse and everyone has their own learnings, their own way to life. You don't need to rush. You don't need to slow down. Just take every single day as it is. And, 
if you do that, trusting yourself, trusting your intuition, you'll be able to discover more about yourself, maybe in passions, maybe in your purpose, advocacies, your dreams, and never compare this to others because I think your success, the most important thing about success is that you're the one that defines it, that you yourself gives it the value and the meaning for yourself, not, not anyone else, not your family, um, not what society thinks of you. It's your own um, perception of yourself, of your dreams, of your successes that, ma- that would matter in the end. Because if you let other people dictate um, what your success looks like, or if you let like money, fame dictate your, what, what success looks like, mm-hmm. I think you're always never going to be happy. You're never going to be contented with life. And I always say like the, the goal to life is really not about being happy. It's about being contented. It's about being fulfilled with what you do. Uh, so it could be in photography. It could be in engineering. It could be in the arts. It could be in speaking English. It could be in any, any passion that you have as long as you yourself you are the one that found it, discovered it, and follows it. And what people say to you, I mean, this career to be a photographer and knowing that you have been in different places and travel a lot, like you always say that you connect with people through photography, but also with the language. So what do you think is important to learn English? Because I know this is your second language, right? Yeah. I think the importance of really English, uh, learning English is the connections. I think the connections and the intimacy, the trust that you can build with people that in photography is so, so important that you need to be able to speak English or speak their language at least to gain their trust, to gain that level of depth to get that photo, to get that shot. Because if, you're, if, you're, if you don't really know how to communicate or connect with someone their language it's going to be a tough job out there and i think speaking english english really helps a lot in a way that you get to realize and learn the stories these stories that you could use to empower others for other people to be educated to be aware and to understand the different things happening around the world maybe in nature maybe in um society maybe it may be the injustices happening around the world i think language is such a power it's such a powerful tool english being able to speak english is such a powerful powerful tool as a human to be able to connect the world yeah it's, it's really great what you say we really use the language to connect with all the people to be like community and i want to know what would you say to people who want to pursue a career in photography I would tell them to keep doing it, to, to always trust, your, trust, trust the intuition again that you have, that photography and being a great artist and being a great photographer, anyone can take great photographs, but not everyone can change the world with it. So if you want to become a photographer, make sure that you're doing it for the right reasons. Make, it, make sure that you're doing it for the purpose and passion that you have. Because, you know, Right now, with technology, with science, everybody could take photos, but not people use them for good use that could help and give a voice to those who are facing injustices, those who don't have that kind of power and voice that they have. Um, Photography is also, I believe, a language. I think it's the language that everybody could see and understand Mm -hmm. once they look at it. You don't need to learn it. You just look at it and you... It expresses to you emotions. It expresses to you feelings. And being able to use these and make other people feel them, I think, is the most important thing in photography. Because it's also, as I said, a language. It's a, it's a tool for connection. It's a tool for understanding. It's a tool for empowerment. Yeah, I really feel that with photography, we can tell stories to people so they get new perspectives and know more about what is happening in the world right now. So thank you so much for all the things that you shared. I really like excited for this. I, I'm really happy that you are sharing your journey with photography and with the language. So thank you so much.
Thanks so much, Jesus. How can we find more of your work? Well, I, I use Instagram and Twitter as my social media platforms. So it's basically my first name and last name, which is Gab, G-A-B, Mejia, M-E-J-I-A. Really, I, I got to answer your questions. And thanks so much again for the invitation. Yeah, of course. I really want to, to build this community. And I really feel that what you are sharing in this moment is going to inspire other people to follow their dreams in this field that we are, there is not something common that we are used to do. So thank you so much for all the things. Thanks so much, Jesus.